at speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. A reckless criminal with no regard for the people or property in his path will do anything and go anywhere to avoid being caught. In the same way that police officers rely on their partners to watch their backs, they also count heavily on their patrol cars to keep them safe and effective, especially during pursuits. That means each cruiser should receive the best maintenance and be equipped with the best technology available. Woodcrest Vehicle Center in Riverside, California, is one of the companies that converts four-door sedans into virtual rolling police stations. This is a 2004 Ford Crown Vic uh, police interceptor that's specially built for patrol car use in the United States by Ford Motor Company. It's estimated that Ford supplies about 80% of all law enforcement vehicles in North America. The Crown Victoria models can be special ordered with a police package that includes high-speed rated tires, larger brakes, and cooling systems. The wires run up Plus here. more powerful oh, alternators to handle the amperage loads from the extra police electronics. The First step is, is we bring the car into the shop and my technicians gut it. They pull all the seats out of it and everything like that and we start installing our products in it. Here's a mount that we're going to put the computer the computer screen, as you can see, we've got most of the dash out. We have to make some modifications in here for a mount for the MDC scene so that the officer can focus on the screen without taking his eyes off the road. Let's move on over to the other cars and see some more of the equipment. What we have over here is this is their MDC or a computer just like you'd have at your house. The way we look at it, this, this is the officer's office, basically. So he travels around with his own computer. In particular, in this car, there's another thing we load in the MDC, and we'll show you a little later. It actually controls the siren of the vehicle as well. The other thing that these operate is there's a full data system that they can get back to their department, run somebody's license plate, see if there's any warrants out anybody, uh, of course, maps, you know, and all the other things. He can write reports onto a disk, go back in his department, print them out, and he's done. So this is very, a very important part of this car as far as the officer is concerned. This office is designed to keep everything within reach. What we have are three microphones, the 800 megahertz, the PA, and the county-wide 800. Up here is an all-new touchscreen technology. It comes up on there. Just with a press of a button, you have code three. Code three refers to a police pursuit or emergency in which both lights and sirens are to be used. The newest light bars are low profile and aerodynamically designed. They're fitted with high intensity LED bulbs that are extremely bright and visible from miles away. During a pursuit that's a code 3 alert, the patrol car displays red, blue and white flashing lights in a 360 degree pattern, leaving little doubt this officer means business. The Pacnet system includes the touchscreen, mobile data center or MDC does more than control lights, sirens, and radios. It can also receive and transmit digital information instantly. And it could be encapsulated in data files, images, pictures of wanted individuals, suspects. Could be a paragraph of information about Homeland Security warnings and uh, things that the intelligence uh, community wants to pass on to law enforcement. InfoCop is software technology that provides law enforcement with access to local, state, and federal crime databases. By entering the information request once, an officer can tap into eight massive databases and receive data and photos in just two to four seconds through a broadband wireless internet connection. Internet protocol is the communication standard on the planet. You know, the IP technologies really enable the police and, and fire communication systems to go into the future that will hold more multimedia, will get larger, and be more interconnected with each other. And if the patrol car is equipped with a digital camera, police can start streaming video files in real time. The ability to relay wireless data on this level has immediate applications that may even help stop police pursuits much faster. So the police officer, when they do a traffic stop, can turn on their camera and have a live feed of that traffic stop, uh, not just for the TV program a month later, but live back in the dispatch center. That it can just send so much information to the other responding officers. That's the biggest thing that we're going to see. 